Welcome viewers to Softidemy, a project control and engineering software academy. I'm going to discuss with you about how can you import your WBS from Excel to Primavera P6. It's a short and very short method without any integration, without using any tool. Fastly, I will create all the WBS from Excel to Primavera P6. So you know it that the other our traditional method to just go and export then import back it's not working for the WBS creation. So for WBS creation I will tell you a very short and very fast method you will follow it don't skip the video every step is very important. I will create a project. So WBS is the basic and the first step. I will create a project with the name of in engineering and construction. I will assign any ID. Maybe I assign three to one and I will assign that one uh, production or any project construction project. We can say here for construction project at New York. So I will just go here next, 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 next. We will not do anything. I will just create a project here. I will open that project. So the project have been opened. You can see in the WBS, there is nothing here. So we will go for the next step in WBS code. You cannot, you cannot, you cannot create a WBS from Excel with our traditional method. I will just export this file export this file with XR format, follow each step, any version, any file, go for the next, we will export the project, then go for next, we will assign the location at my desktop and then we press save, finish this one, close this one, we will see the file have been saved on the desktop. Now I have to create WBS manually on my Excel, so I have already created that one, you can open my WBS file. I have opened my WBS file. So in that one, I will create four columns. The first one is WBS ID. The second one WBS short name. The third one parent WBS. The fourth one WBS. So that one are WBS name or WBS. You can say that one. So these are the names. See these all are the name of WBS. I have assigned the colors to assign that one parents WBS. For example, this one is one at WBS ID if it's one. So all the one, all the one related to the parent WBS, like uh, I will go here. I will just uh, filter by color. First of all, I will color for this one. All this color like milestone, general engineering, procurement, construction, all parent will be one. And also I have assigned the short name with them. Also, when I go here with the color, another color with a yellow, you can see the yellow as behalf of that one. And I will just remove that one, clear the filter. So you can see milestones and in the milestone, there are two values, this one and the third one, this one, one, two and third one is construction. And be below that phase milestone, there are two milestones started, finish. And below construction milestone, there are start and finish milestone. If we see general, so there in the general, there are two uh, WBS. So that WBS one is mobilization and the other one is project management and system. In procurement, there are two major WBS and the level two purchase order and the delivery. And in purchase order, all the items have been written from, uh, it's the same parent code. So you can see from the same parent code, it means it's all the, the same. So also the short name, the next to the parent code also have assigned one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it will be assigned like the sequence from top to bottom. If we assign 17, it means these all will be lie under the 17. So, so that 17 will be lie in the front of the WBS ID, then the 17 and then 17, next 17.1, 17.2, 17.3, 17.5, 17.6, 17.7, 17.8, 17.9, 17.10, 17.11, 17.12, 17.13, 17.14, 17.15, 17.16, 17.17, 17.18, 17.19, 17.20, 17
four. So the same like that one twenty seven point one, twenty seven point two, twenty seven point three in below delivery. And next construction, the construction have thirty three number, thirty seven number for WBS level two. Demolishing and removal thirty seven, thirty seven. This one thirty seven. This one thirty seven. So below that thirty seven, there is forty. That WBS level four. That forty two WBS level four under the thirty seven. Also this one also in under the thirty seven. Also thirty seven. You can see in the front of that one. That two three and that one is four. That one is number one for at WBS level. Four. Also, there is WBS level five under forty-two. There is WBS level five under forty-two. There is WBS level under forty-two. Also, one 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 assigned with that one. So the same like this one at thirty-seven. There is fifty number. So in the fifty one, fifty there is a fifty-one. So you can see fifty-one point one, fifty. One point two three four. The same as it is thirty seven. There are three at the WBS level four, and there are one at WBS level five. Also, there are at uh, four acti five activities for WBS level five. So the same as it is, I have created all my WBS. Activities. So these are WBS name. These are its parent code. So the parents code is like uh, the in the next of the WBS ID, and then the short name. It's like seventeen point one, like seventeen point two, seventeen point three. So it's like that one. So this is I have created my WBS sheet hole. So now what I will do? I will just right click this one and I will go here. For the open with with Notepad. When I will open with the Notepad, so you can see there is a lot of details uh, written in a text form in Notepad. So be remember when you work with XR file or you work with the database. So the Notepad is the basically it convert that file XR into uh, text. So here I will see there is project WBS. So when you see the project WBS, you will select this one up to. E. So I will just copy this one up to E, and now I will open a new file here of Excel. And when you open the file of Excel here, I will go fastly there and paste this one. So you can see here. I will just add insert a new one, insert a new row. Okay. So this one all five file have been just paste here. The data have been paste here. Now what I will do, I will just add my WBS ID here. I will just copy fastly from here WBS ID. Go here fastly. This one. So project ID will be remain same. I will just double click this one of OBS. It will be remain same. Sequence number will be remain same. Voltages remain same. Okay, the nodes no for two all this one. Data for the sum data flag no WBS open open for all. So this one is WBS short name. We have WBS short name. Go for here and copy this one all. And now copy this one and the paste here. And now the next one is WBS name. So this is project name. I will just copy this one file from here. And now I will paste here, and the next one is parent WBS ID. Parent WBS ID. I will just copy it from here to the bottom, and now I will paste here, here. So when I will paste here, the other one file, just this one, click and just drag down. So all file have been just completed now, and for the percent E, I will. Cut this one, paste here, and now for R percent R, I will just drag down the complete one. Now I will just select all all the data, control all the data here down, and okay. So all the data have been selected. I will just press Control C and paste here where we have selected Control V. When we press Control V, all the data have been pasted here. So before that one, see there is no files here. I will just Control S save that one Notepad 321. When I cross this one, the file have been saved here in the desktop. This file have been saved 321. Now I will go here in the Primavera P6. 
I will go for the file import next XR next project next we will just go for the desktop and 321 select open next and now update existing project update existing project it's have already already selected so there are also three options create a new replace existing ignore this project so i will update existing the because the project have been matched so i will select the project match next now configuration if the configuration in your system for the project base update existing is done then okay if not done just add there next finish when we finish this one you can see all all my wbs which i have just written there are just exported here so it's all like the same the sequence i have just created now can you see this one all the files have been created this is a very easy very very easy method to just import from your excel to primavera p6 so here and the activities you can see the same as it is now so how i have created this one you can see it's sub it's sub and now engineering is the same also procurement there are two and then there are sub for that one so it's easy to see here the same watch which one i have created all the wbs have been created the same you can compare with this one this file so the colors are different you can change color and see it like i show you this one is a green and yellow the next one a start milestone this one are you can see here and i just filter this one okay the filter this one i can change that one into blue if you can see in the blue okay so now when you see this one clear the filter so almost the files are the same can you see here all the files are the same okay expand all all the files are same okay the red one red one files are the which one are red oh there is some mistake because the blue has been doubled okay i will not assign the blue i will assign something different so so this this you can you can do easily because the blue color have been already done so that's why it's our left here i will just go for the for any other color it's the same color meanings okay just leave it okay so all all the files are same so this is our today's content how can you import your wbs from excel to primavera p6 that's easy by using notepad thanks for watching softy demi if you have any question you can write us on our whatsapp number that have been given at the end of this video also you can visit our site www.softydemi.com for any content write us below if you need any content thanks for watching softy demi we will meet in the next video